record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow, then it's done for you. That's right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. All the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record, <laughs> for the record. First step, download the OS from App Store. It's free. Find a Mac, download it. Find a Hackintosh, download it. It's that easy. The OS is downloading, you can download further software that you will need to make this thing whole. So first, I would recommend you to download Clover Configurator, then maybe Clover Bootloader and my EFI folder, that's very important. Now our software is ready, it's time to make the boot disk. Open your disk utility and choose the drive. Click erase and use as a GUID partition map. And this is HP Omen Thunderbolt 3, we'll be using this as our eGPU. Open the app DiskMaker X, this will help us to create a USB installer. The speed depends on the drive you are using, mine took quite long.
This is very important step. Your drive will boot or not boot. It also depends on this step. What we will do now is we will copy the EFI folder that we have prepared to the USB flash drive that we are going to make it boot and install the OS. So open your Clover config. Once it's open, select Mount EFI. Mount the drive. And now drag whatever files wherever you have kept it the EFI folder that you downloaded from the link copy it inside the EFI remember copy the whole folder the structure in the EFI folder is necessary final step before you boot with your USB drive copy all the files that we have created to the USB drive this is important because once you have booted from the USB drive you will need to copy these files to hard drive to make your computer work without booting from USB again Now let's reboot our computer. It's the second half of our job. Let's go Hackintosh. Boom.
So this will be the Logic Pro X test. This track I made few years ago I think on my other computer and now I am using the same project to open it up on the Hackintosh Dell G7 laptop. Let's see how this works. It has around 80 tracks so I will not be forwarding fast forwarding or anything just plain as you you see it's same thing on my screen. Let's make things more interesting using the Thunderbolt eGPU. I will use it to render and let's see how it works in Final Cut Pro X. So once we load up the file, let's see how it works. In this setup, I have both UHD 630 and AMD RX 560 in Mojave. As you can see when I scroll, both the graphic cards work. It's quite amazing. So to show you, let's export the file. I'm going to open Intel Power Gadget. It will show us the CPU, how it's working. Also, let's see how things work out. Let's do it. So you can see that the board graphics are working together. Quite cool, eh?
That's it, Hackintosh with eGPU. Hope you like it. If you have any problems, questions, you just ask. I'll try to reply to you. Hope this is good video for you. Bye bye.